Hi, I'm Mark English, and here's another reading from my Confessions of a Paranormal Investigator. Can you hear it? I mouth with eager enthusiasm. Hear what? I politely reply. The voice. Um, listen closely, I'm told rather excitingly, as the EVP is replayed. Now, do you hear it? Um, there, there. It sounds like a man saying, get out. Now, I'm not saying that a discarnate male voice wasn't saying, get out. But to my ears at least, the recording in question just sounded like a peak of static. As I've said before, human beings are pattern-seeking mammals. I like things to fit into a well-ordered box. If someone tells you what they think they can hear, then that generates an auto-suggestion in your head that fits the alleged noise. I'm not having a proper EVP though. Far from it. Electronic voice phenomena is actually a very interesting method of potentially tapping into the beyond. And I've heard many good and clear recordings of alleged nattering. Is it spirit though? Infrasound and ultrasound are fascinating areas of study to what can be picked up beyond the range of our own limited senses. Animals, for example, can hear sounds that our human ears can't detect. And those with pet dogs and cats would no doubt have seen them suddenly perk up and staring at a corner of a room, although nothing is there. Maybe it's worth trying to record a dog whistle on an investigation and see what you get. Be fun for a voice to come back and say, Come on boy, walk is. Of all the investigations I've done, only on a couple of occasions has an EVP been of interest. Back in 2007, on an investigation in a private house, everyone in the team was sitting quietly and all accounted for. Setting up an EVP session, we clearly recorded what sounded like electronic noise phenomena, where we heard a door opening and the shuffling of feet across the carpet. With us joining Duncan downstairs in the spare room, we were intrigued to discover that an EVP had been recorded of what clearly sounds like a door opening and the shuffling of feet. With no doors shut at the time, and the crew sitting quietly in the upstairs bedrooms, we cannot explain this audible phenomenon. But with all EVP recordings, they need to be scrutinised completely, which can be a long process, but rewarding in the end if you do get something generally unexplained.